recognize I was wrong about Velta and I found out something interesting about Velta as well. So we're going to talk about that in this video. But first, let's cook. Instant noodle today. Okay, so I was using Velta uh, in Guild Wars yesterday, and I don't know, I always have the mindset that Velta's nullifier would work like a normal nullifier would, but apparently it didn't work on Ton, alright? So I was mistaken on that part. So a nullifier for Velta's case is a reflective nullifier, so you do activate this skill at plus zero. And I must have confused with uh, Mamonair's different form of nullifier because Mamonair at plus 6, she has something extra which is buff prohibition as well. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, so this particular skill. So Mamonair at plus 6, she has extra prohibition after getting normal attack. I'm not sure if that's the reason why she can nullify Taunt because I'm pretty sure she always nullifies my Taunt back then when I do Guild Wars. So. Pretty sure she has the ability to do that, but I'm not sure at what plus. Uh, back then, I remember even a Mamo plus zero could do it, but I don't think so anymore. Like, did they change the skill? I'm not entirely sure as well. But ideally, um, let's just try and test for a bit. I will show you guys what I mean by that. All right, so in case you guys are unaware, uh, we can just do a campaign stage. I was trying to find an evil castle stage so that I don't have to waste my horseshoes, but I couldn't find an evil castle stage with enemies with Taunt, alright? So there's one stage, there's one enemy that only Taunt for two turns, uh, that's a bit short, so I needed something longer. Alright, so let's try this strategy out uh, and show you guys what I mean at the much more reasonable campaign stage. So, 47-5, this is the stage with Aaron. Aaron, Aaron. Alright, so Aaron has Taunt right here, you can clearly tell. Uh, 10 turns of Taunt. Alright, so there's no saying in the exception that it can be removed or whatever, so there's no such thing. So ideally, I want to stack up. Aaron is the first one to go after the two Tamises right there at number three. If this Aaron hits Velter right here, ideally, if the nullifier works as it should, it should nullify Taunt and buff, right? But I mean Taunt as well. But apparently, it's not. Uh, maybe it's just how it works. Uh, ideally, I'll try to. We'll try to put a chart later. So I have Frederica right here. Okay. So and Frederica does have nullifier. All right. So nullifier after normal attack. So this is just a basic nullifier. Ideally, when you look at these two skills, all right, nullifier after normal attack, and then you look at Valter's nullifier. The only difference is that after getting normal attack. So, like you would assume that it would work the same way, right? I mean, kind of makes sense. It's just nullifier in terms of Valter's case is reflective, means that enemies that hit you will be applied this particular nullifier as opposed to Frederica. You know, when she attacks the enemy, she will apply the nullifier. So if I go in. I uh, could have used a friend mercenary to give them some points, but it's okay. <laughs> if I go in right now, so if Aaron comes in and hits my Velter, boom. So Aaron still left the Torn, alright? And then if Frederica go, now the Torn is removed. No more Torn, right? So, hmm. Like, it's not because of Frederica's silence, because uh, Torn silence doesn't work that way, at least not after the Torn is activated, because the Torn is already there. Um, so definitely, if you look at it, the nullifier from Frederica, a 4-star, can nullify Taunt, but it's just how the interaction works with Velter's one, I guess. So is there a way to exit this? If I exit, I may not receive rewards. What? Do I lose my horseshoes though? I have no idea. Alright, just 20 horseshoes. I'll do it for, for the experimental sake. Okay, so let's see if we can watch it again at a much slower pace. Alright, I just want to... Uh, make sure we understand what's happening right here. Okay, so I hope I don't waste my horseshoes. At least I want to be able to win the battle. Okay, so let's lower this again at half a speed so we can understand better what is happening. So if, uh, again, enemy Aaron goes in, right? So we're going to press that. Okay, so again, two Tamis with a buff. Okay, if we try to notice the Aaron hitting the, the Velter, nullify, and then taunt. Alright, so I'm guessing for Velter's case, 
the nullifier was applied before the torn. All right, so when Aaron hits, nullify, uh, the nullifier effect is applied first, and then the torn is applied. The torn came up later, so that's why you don't nullify the torn. But I'm guessing buffs will work, just not in this case of the the torn and stuff. Okay, so hopefully at least I can win this battle. And let's, we're gonna jump into the, the comparison side by side so that we can see things more clearly right after this. But can I win this battle? That's the question. That's the question that... Boom! Okay. Yes, I'm winning this, I think. There's no way Benshina struggles, right? Yep. Velter. Yeah, Velter is... My, my Velter is plus 3, so... I need to prepare um, 3... What do you want to call that? Skill transfer, because I most likely will be picking Velter from the Jumpstart 2. Alright, you can select a 5-star mage from that. Velter is one of those units. Maybe... Hmm... Maybe I'll just pick Frisha from that. I have no idea, man. Still deciding on that. Frisha is pretty strong as well. Uh, not to take away her credibility and stuff. Okay, let's pull out Velter's Nullifier and Frederica's Nullifier side by side so we get to understand completely what's happening right here. Uh, even though after reading the description, it's kind of hard to understand actually. But okay, Nullifier from Velter right here. Alright, if you look at this skill, alright, we're going to click on Exception as well. So it says Ignore Immunity Skill Type and Applies. Okay, so uh, immunity skill types cannot be removed, makes sense. Those that applies before battle cannot be removed. Permanent skills cannot be removed. Uh, unremovable skills, unremo unremovable buffs cannot be removed as well and affected by debuff reflection. In this case, that's, uh, that's Grant's skill, in case you guys are wondering. Grant healed this uh, debuff reflection. So we go to Frederica, same thing. If you read, everything is the same, right? So you can, you can just pause and read if you want. But everything is the same, except for one exception, which is hers is after normal attack, okay? And Velter's one is after getting normal attack. I mean, her, his is a reflective. But what's not mentioned here is this nullifier, uh, in most Thorn cases, right? In most Thorn cases, for example, let's grab, uh, let's grab Glacia. Glacia or Kauli, for example. Kauli, Glacia, doesn't matter. So most uh, taunters have after normal attack taunt, right? So they attack first, they hit you first, and then only the taunt appears. Same goes for Glacia. So after normal attack. So I'm guessing that's why it didn't work, because they hit you first with their regular damage and stuff, and then only their taunt appears on them when they go back to their position after hitting you. So there are still some exceptions, which is something like Benshina. So her taunt is when enemy's grave is created. So I have no way of testing this yet, but if any of you want to test it, feel free. For example, if Benshina hits Velter, will her taunt get removed? Like that's what that picks my curiosity. So far for me, I've tested with Glacia, Kauli, uh, Diomaron, and their taunt still stays there. But I guess Benshina's taunt is a little bit different. So I couldn't find any Benshina yet. Like it's quite hard to find a perfect scenario in PvP where you can plan that up. I mean, same goes for Albion's Torn as well. So, for example, if Albion somewhat uh, Torn someone, right? This one, based on what I've heard, it actually will nullify uh, Albion and Endolin and John because these three are Torn that's given by a supporter, alright? So, but I haven't had the chance to test it yet, so this is just based on what I've heard. If any of you guys can confirm that, please let me know in the comments below. Alright, so from what I heard, Albion, so let's say if Albion give someone who doesn't have Torn, alright, someone like uh, a Ludia, right? Ludia don't have Torn. If Albion buff Ludia and Ludia hits Velter, from my understanding, that Torn will be removed because it's not from Ludia herself, but it's rather, it's given by a supporter, right? So I think that's the difference right here. Again, uh, a lot of things I'm still unclear of because there's no ideal ways of testing this, but so far, Based on my testing, most of the regular defenders that have their taunt activated after normal attack, like after normal attack, like this, they cannot be nullified by Velter. All right, you have to use uh, a unit to go in, like Vals. Who else has nullified your Vals or Yuri? Those two are the famous one right now. Uh, Frederica is a four star option. I don't think there's a three star unit with nullifier. I could be wrong though. Is there any? I don't think there's any. I feel like I'm missing somebody. Who else has Nullifier? 
Foxy? Yeah, Foxy has Nullifier. Uh, there are some mages with Nullifier, if I'm not mistaken, like... Uh, what's the name again? That guy with the... Uh, Anubis, yes. <laughs> Anubis has Nullifier as well. But, yeah, mages with Nullifier, we do have Anubis. Yeah, Nullifier. And yeah, I think quite a lot of units have Nullifier. It's just that the few the few common ones will be Vals and Yuri. Like those two, they are still relevant in the meta. Yeah, just a heads up for you guys. If you guys want to use uh, Velter in Guild Wars, if you want to remove those Torn, maybe you will still need Grace in most cases. Alright, so Grace to remove Glacia's Torn. Just remember that it will not ever work on Grand. Alright, so Grand Hill there is just still strong in that Torn sense. Cannot be Has a Torn that cannot be removed. Okay, so just a quick PSA before we end the video. So this Ventana pieces thing, make sure you guys do it every single day. I remember during the Yuri event, some of you guys told me that you were very close and you kind of have to do it. It's very tight, okay? These pieces are extremely tight because if you miss one, one or two tasks, there's not much space for you. They made it just that so that you just get barely enough. There, there are a few pieces extra actually if you completed day 14 and 15 because day 14 and 15 you get more pieces. So right now every day we only get four but once you go to the last few days, I mean day 13 and 14, you will be getting 19 and 20 pieces. So ideally try your best to get as many pieces as you can and try to get that free Ventana so that you can get the you can get one skill level for free, literally. All right, even if you have already plus 15 yours, you can always use skill transfer, transfer your plus 15 to plus 14, and then skill her up again. So you benefit from just one. It's like a one five-star skill book, essentially. So try your best. I didn't look at it that way before this, uh, but it's actually much more important than you think, especially if you are free to play and you feel like you need a lot of five-star skill books. This is a better method for you to, to get that skill up, and then you can transfer that skill to anyone that you need to work on. Alright, so I guess that's gonna be it for this video. Damn, I'm hungry again. I don't know why, just cook a noodle, yet I'm hungry again. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm gonna go maybe cook something else. Hope you guys enjoyed the information. And as always, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. I still have more videos to come. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.